Open the case and remove the patient circuit. Undo the retaining strap from the vaporizer. Take out the vaporizer and secure it to the support stand with the screw behind the support stand. Take out the reservoir block and connect to the vaporizer inlet. Connect the clear section of the valve, ensuring the correct direction of flow. Connect the self-inflating bag to the front of the clear valve section. Connect the expiratory side of the valve to the case. Connect the patient circuit first to the outlet of the clear valve section and then connect the other limb to the expiratory valve. Test the circuit is complete by using a test lung or a one litre bag. The anaesthetic agent output is controlled by moving the lever on the front of the vaporizer. The DPAO2 system is suitable for anaesthetizing adult or pediatric spontaneously breathing patients or with assisted manual ventilation. The gas flow in the circuit works by entraining air through the one-way valve at the back of the reservoir block. This is either controlled by the patient's own inspiratory effort when spontaneously breathing or through controlled manual ventilation by the anaesthetist squeezing the self-inflating bag. The circuit provided is coaxial. The gas flow runs through one side of the tube to the patient and then back down the other side of the tube to the expiratory limb. This becomes clearer if we change the circuit for a standard two limb Y piece. One side of the tube connects to the clear valve and the other side connects to the expiratory valve. Now we can see as the gas flows down one side of the tube and back down the other side. Peep or scavenging can be applied on the 30 mm outlet of the expiratory valve if required. Supplementary oxygen can be added to the system through this tube, either from an oxygen concentrator or from an oxygen cylinder using the regulator flow meter supplied. If the level of oxygen supplementation is less than the patient's minute volume, the bag will empty. If the oxygen supplementation is increased, the bag will fill and the circuit will become continuous flow. The overpressure valve on the reservoir block avoids excessive pressure in the system. The vaporizer will function in either drawover or continuous flow. A smaller self-inflating bag is provided for paediatric use and an AS piece can also be fitted if required. In order to use a T-piece, the supplementary oxygen must be at least three times the patient's minute volume. The patient's circuit valve is a linked system with an inspiratory side and an expiratory side. The two sides are linked by the stabilizing tube to close the expiratory side during the manual ventilation. The isofluorane halothane vaporizer is calibrated for either of those agents. The scale runs from 0 to 5%.
It is filled by unscrewing the cap and using the funnel supplied. The vaporizer can hold up to 150 mil of anesthetic agent and the level of agent should always be visible in the sight glass. A Siva fluorine vaporizer is available on request. If the Siva fluorine vaporizer is fitted with key fill, it is simply filled by pushing the bottle into the filler cap. The vaporizer can be emptied in the same way. The settings on the Siva fluorine vaporizer are 1 to 4% and a further setting for induction that will provide a nominal 8%.